I'm Mark Milburn, and this is my studio. Usually you'd find me out here adventuring, but on my show, I invite influencers to meet me halfway for the most unconventional interview of their life. Welcome to Chairlift Chat. Nothing makes me feel more alive than being out here in the mountains. And today's guest, <laughs> he really knows what being alive is all about. You see, oh. I had a brain inside. I'm gonna kill them all. He's the star on the CW show I Zombie, but he's probably better known when his shirt is off on One Tree Hill and flirting with 40. I just hope he can ski. So we're gonna head to the bottom of the chairlift and go meet today's guest, Robert Buckley. Chairlift chat with Mark Milburn, take one. All right, level with me. As a local, do you ever spit at the people beneath you? Because as a, as a non-native like native mountain person, all I want to do right now is spit on people beneath us. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on talking to you, but all I'm seeing is like that little kid, that little kid. I specifically only spit at little kids. <laughs> I'm going to give you five words that uh -huh. are common in the ski world, and I just want to see you tell me what they are. Easy. Okay? Done. Uh, first one. Uh, is to, let's go simple. Shred. Shred? Yeah. Just to carve, man. To make the snow your own. Okay. Easy. Hoarfrost. Hoarfrost? Yeah. Do kids and parents watch this show? They do. Oh, obviously, this is a little advanced, more of a Norwegian term. It's when you're going through some real melty powder and the tip of your board gets icy and it, it messes up your edge. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, kicker. Right, I know that. Kicker. Sweet little jump, brah. Yeah. I Wikipedia'd snowboarding before this interview, dude. Beacon. Beacon. Often used in space to help locate a stranded colleague or someone you're bounty hunting. Twin tip. What? Twin tip. Twin tip. It's when the bathing suit rides up real high and it fits real tight and like, hey, you got a little twin tip showing. <laughs> Camber. Camber. It's a lovely tea somewhere between like a chamomile and like a jasmine. I could go for that. Dude, this is legit. Okay, so. Uh, well, how, how many did I get right? One. But that's okay. Kicker, <laughs> kicker was legit. One of the biggest things that is really important to me on Chairlift Chat is that we kind of relate your lifestyle mm -hmm. to skiing and snowboarding. So if you could tell me about your love life in ski and snowboard lingo, that would be perfect. Oh, dude. So All like, right. give me a Listen, run top to bottom. I can sum up my 20s in one word, hoarfrost. <laughs> my 30s have been a bit different. I, I guess you could say I've been carving the backcountry. You know, I went off a couple kickers. Some I landed and they were sweet. Some weren't so sweet, but they taught me lessons, you know? And in the end, I'm just looking for that one rocker who really, uh, who really gets my powder. I, if the cameras can see what's behind us, it's ridiculous. This is, I'm a Southern California kid. The only snow I've ever been on in my life is man-made snow, like a six inch base. Nothing ever as steep as this. I don't know what you're about to get, but this is like overwhelming. It is cold. I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, but here it's about minus eight Celsius. Ready, watch this. Negative 22 Fahrenheit. So technically we're on a chairlift and we don't have a lot of time to talk about your show, but I want you to talk about your show, so tell me about your show. How fast? How many, how Five seconds. Five seconds. Zombies, partial nudity, action, romance, cool accents. Who's partially nude? This guy. Okay. Um, if you could choose one job in your career as an action hero or a comedy or whatever, what would it be? Green Lantern. Okay, and why? I feel like there's room for improvement there. <laughs> Plus, I just, I pop in green. You've been a Whistler before. But you've never been on the ski hill. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> just like I've been to Krispy Kreme, never tried the donuts. Like, why would you go? I got frosticles in my beard, so I don't <laughs> care. The rest of the day could be a wash, and I think this is right. This is gonna be the most mo most macho, the most macho I've ever been. So <laughs> most macho. drink it in, Dad. Wait, I missed on this kid. Sucker! That was legit. Yeah. She's upset about it. Go on. You get kind of stuck in the drama rules. Is there a way that you could get out of that, and is there a market that you would want to play more in? Oh, 100%. I think I, I've done a lot more drama. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, let's be honest, I've, I've been shirtless more than once or twice. Yeah, uh, I, but yeah, I, I, comedy is what I want to do. It's just so much more fun. Anyone who knows me knows I, I'm about as 
you know, immature and inane as they come. So like humor is definitely more my strike zone. Have you ever done stand-up comedy? No, that's something though that I think, I've kind of been writing, uh, trying to put together a six minute set. Cause it scares me enough that that tells me I need to try it before I die. Like I, I have to, cause I'd rather have failure over regret. Yeah. So it's one of those things that because I can tell the way it scares me, it's something I need to try. Aside from just working as an actor, you do a lot of other things philanthropically. Is there a cause that you would like to spend more time working with? Yeah, the Special Olympics. Really? 100%. Yeah, that's something I've wanted to do for a long time, and, but I've just, and I've like looked up the number, yeah. I found my local, like the local office, yeah. but I just, I haven't, uh, I haven't started participating in them yet, but that's something that like for a long time, I felt like that's what I want to do. And probably, you, specifically snowboarding, I'm assuming. No, I think once you get a, a glimpse of what I do, I would be the one, you know, needing a, a helping hand. Um, but I could probably help them with like overacting, <laughs> cooking simple foods. So why why the special puzzles. Olympics? Um, you know what? I just I love the aspect of like it, it's like it's a team sport, you know, and just and, and helping these these young kids to just kick butt in sports and see their own potential. Like I think that is such an awesome awesome activity, and like what a nutritious like investment of your time. Totally. To like help someone else realize their you know full potential and how rad they are. Hey Rob, um, how much would you say your family's had an impact on you being an actor and with regards to support and progression? Uh, well, my dad was in the original Mickey Mouse Club. What? Super random, right? I know. But then he did nothing else like acting wise after that. He got on because he could play a bunch of instruments. My dad could play eight instruments. Right. My brother and I between the two of us, zero. But you didn't you didn't dabble in any instruments. I tried. I tried the flute at like 21. I was like, dad, you know, mom, dad, get me a, a, an instrument. I'd like to see if I have this un just gene to unlock. I tried like once. I was like, I'm a 21 year old trying to learn how to play the recorder flute. I already wasn't getting laid. I didn't need to add the flute to my repertoire. You did One Tree Hill. You moved on from that. You did Flirting 40. You're in iZombie. Mm -hmm. The next phone call you could get would be? I am financially stable enough to go back to my passion, which is waitering. <laughs> Acting just to pay the bills. Alright. <laughs> By the way, I, I haven't actually asked you this yet. Yeah. But you were so keen to come, but are you any good at snowboarding? So when you saw me standing there waiting for you to come down, that is as cool as I expect to look at any point in the day. What I'm hoping you guys can do is slow down the frame rate to like two frames per second, yeah. so it looks like I'm just hauling ass. <laughs> Ah, my butt! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this was Chairlift Chat with Rob Buckley. Thanks for joining me. I had a blast. Tune in next time for another great episode of Chairlift Chat. Let's go get some more turns in. Let's do it.